Hi, so now we have got our background ready. We've done our background, our mid ground, which is our stripes. Now we're gonna do the top layer, which are our letters. So we get our um, photocopy again with a pencil on the back. Make sure it's in the right, the right way around. So match up, match it up. Okay, fits on there. And we're going to use our pencil to very, very, very neatly take your time. Just move this to very neatly draw around the edge of our numbers and letters. Try and do it really, really perfectly. You can check. See, there's my five. Hopefully you can see that. Um, might just try and bring it down a little bit closer so you can see. Okay. Right, you want to use, you're going to trace all the rest of the letters, but I'm just gonna show you the five. You want to use a teeny, teeny, tiny brush. This is a double zero brush that I'm using. You're gonna put out some paint. You do not need to put out very much paint at all just a very small amount. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get some paint on my brush. See, I haven't overloaded my brush. I'm not painting like this. Okay, make sure you don't have too much paint on your brush. Okay. I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna blend my paint out. Now I wanna go right along the edges. Notice that I'm dragging my paintbrush along. You may wanna move your art or work around. You might find it easier to now I've, I'm going on the other side. So I've turned it around. Keep turning your work around. Blend it out really nice and smoothly like that. The more paint you put on, the harder it is to manage. Remember that. Okay, see so I haven't got much paint at all, so it's nice and smooth. It will definitely need a second layer of paint. I'm going to turn it around again so I can get into my points here. Probably got too much paint on, so I'm just taking some off. So it takes it takes a wee while to do. Okay. Now I'm going to go along here. do my edges some people do this far too quickly they try and go like this and they don't think about getting and then they get bigger and bigger because they have to tidy up your edges and they end up being really huge you want to do it correctly from the first time the base coat is very important that you do it nicely see I'm dragging my brush along like this smoothing it out. Once it's lumpy, if you leave it and it's lumpy, it's very hard to fix. Dragging my brush along, dragging it along the line. Turning it around again. Dragging it along to just get used to. Okay around the curves. Move it around again. All right, so our, our objective is to have lovely smooth lines. Now this part's dry, I think. So I'm gonna go back over there and see you don't need to be as perfect when you go on top because you've done a really nice neat edge already and you can just start to layer it up so it's more opaque, okay? Remember, opaque is the opposite of transparent. It means it's not see-through. Whoops, too much paint there. Alright. So it takes time. I'm doing this quite quickly because I've done a lot of this before. Some of you haven't, um, won't be so used to painting nice, really sharp lines. So you will need to be a little bit slower than me, okay? 
see how little paint I'm using. When you start applying too much paint, it becomes really difficult to move around. It's like too much to move around and it doesn't dry quickly. So look, here's my lovely sharp number. Remember, we, we're not painting like this. When we paint like this, we don't get nice sharp edges at all. We're very controlled. Okay, good luck guys.